The second prototype of the KN fighter jet has officially entered the system integration phase, marking a crucial step in the development of Turkey's homegrown fifth-generation aircraft. This new prototype incorporates significant refinements based on the data and experience gained from the first two successful test flights of the initial P-0 prototype in 2024. Turkish Aerospace Industries, TUSA, is now moving to the final assembly line, where the complex process of integrating the aircraft's avionics, sensors, and flight control systems will take place. This stage is vital for testing how all the sophisticated components work together in a near-operational environment. The entry of the second prototype into system integration signals a significant acceleration of the KAN program. Unlike the first prototype, which was primarily a demonstrator of flight performance, this new iteration will feature most of the mission systems intended for the operational aircraft. TUSA officials have stated that assembly on two additional prototypes is already underway, with the first flights of these upgraded aircraft scheduled for the second quarter of 2026. This rapid production and testing schedule underscores the determination of the Turkish defence industry to bring the KAN to operational readiness. The system integration process is a highly intricate and complex undertaking for any modern fighter jet. It involves the seamless connection of hardware and software from a multitude of subsystems. For the KAN, this includes the domestically developed Active Electronically Scanned Array ASA, radar, sensor fusion systems, and a complex network of computers and data links. The process ensures that the pilot has a cohesive and accurate picture of the battle space, with all systems communicating effectively to maximize the aircraft's lethality and survivability. A key focus of the KAN project is its indigenous weapons ecosystem. The system integration phase will be critical for ensuring compatibility with a range of locally produced armaments. This includes the Gurkdone Beyond Visual Range Air-to-Air -air Missile, the Bosdoan Short Range Missile, and the SOMJ Standoff Cruise Missile, which is designed for internal carriage to maintain the fighter's stealth profile. This emphasis on native weaponry is a core component of Turkey's ambition to achieve full independence in its defence capabilities. The National Combat Aircraft MMU, program, of which the KAN is the centrepiece, is not just about producing a single fighter jet but about building a robust and self-sufficient aerospace industry. By undertaking a project of this scale, Turkey is developing its engineering expertise and supply chain, positioning itself as a major player in the global defence market. The program reflects a long-term strategic vision to reduce reliance on foreign military technology and to create a domestic ecosystem that can support the next generation of aerospace platforms. The incremental development approach adopted for the KAN is a deliberate strategy to get the fighter into service sooner while allowing for continuous technological upgrades. The first operational variant, designated Block 10, is expected to enter frontline service in 2029. This initial version will have a limited combat scope, but its capabilities will be expanded through ongoing software updates and operational testing. This phased approach ensures that the Turkish Air Force can begin integrating the new platform into its fleet and training its pilots while the final, more advanced systems are perfected. The CONS development timeline is ambitious, but the recent progress with the second prototype indicates that the program is largely on track. With a maiden flight in February 2024 and a second in May of the same year, the program has already achieved significant milestones. The procurement of a sixth testbed aircraft further demonstrates the commitment to a comprehensive flight test campaign. The goal is to have the first batch of 20 KAN Block 10 jets delivered to the Turkish Air Force by 2028, with production ramping up to two aircraft per month in 2029. Beyond its domestic role, the KAN program also has an eye on the export market. Turkey has already secured an order for 48 jets from Indonesia, with production slated to utilize some of Indonesia's local capabilities. This deal highlights the cons potential as a viable export product and a tool for strengthening strategic alliances. 
The fighter's development is a powerful symbol of Turkey's growing defense industry, challenging established powers and asserting its role as an emerging leader in advanced military aviation.